Before servicing your Vogelsang pump, you must be sure to close all valves to isolate the pump from the rest of the system. Follow your facility's shutdown procedure, as well as the procedure described in the service guide included with your pump. Depressurize the buffer chamber of the pump by releasing the valve behind the pressure gauge at the top of the oil bottle. Then remove the plug at the top of the gearbox directly behind the buffer chamber. These two chambers are separate, and each contain their own supply of oil. To drain the pump of oil, Remove both the plug for the buffer chamber and the plug for the gearbox located at the bottom of the pump. Let the oil drain into a collection pan. To remove the front cover, simply loosen and remove the four nuts holding the cover in place. Take care to not damage the large o-ring, which can be reused if in good condition. To remove the lobes, first loosen both Allen head strain screws. The strain screws are easy to strip if you're not careful. This is why we recommend using the special Allen socket tool that comes standard with the lobe puller. Our Allen socket keeps the tool properly seated in the screw head. When the strain screws come loose, use them to dislodge the pressure discs from the lobe face. Remove and discard the two O-rings used on the pressure discs. We recommend using two sets of lobe pullers to remove the lobes. Because of the high flow convoluted design, you'll need to remove the lobes in tandem. Note that you'll need new strain screws when installing either new or used lobes back into the pump. 